Happy anniversary! So there'll be five houses up here. We call it a bungalow court. Happy 10th anniversary, hot wagon! One, two, three. Oh. With a few shovels in the dirt of Franklin's hard bargain area, change is on the way. We're able to make a bigger impact in the Titanic problem of affordable housing. It's important that uh, the people that work here also have the opportunity to live here. And we're selling those way below market value to make them affordable. The Hard Bargain Association is trying to give residents the option of home ownership with this project, adding five homes to the eight the group has already constructed in the neighborhood. We all belonged to a group of, of ministers and fellow guys in, that were in ministry called the Empty Hands Fellowship. I remember coming to the first few meetings and you know, gathering people together. I say meetings that were just kind of gatherings with, uh, and that was back when Denny Denson and, and Scott Rowley were, were telling the story from the very beginning. Uh, the purpose of that group and its original intent was a racial reconciliation mainly. One of the things that happened early on with, with Empty Hands was uh, Scott Rowley moved into the Hard Bargain neighborhood. Yeah. This is Scott's house here. All right. And you're the first one. Uh, White guy? Yes. I didn't know how to exactly say it. And they said, Scott, there uh, goes the well, neighborhood. When we first moved here, yes. Freddie, people here thought I was a cop. An undercover, like a nar Nar narcotics yeah. officer. <laughs> and of course, I said it's worse than that. I'm a pastor. <laughs> That's right. I'm here for your soul, not it's for your worse. drugs. You it's know, worse hey. than that. In the early years of Hard Bargain Association, we mainly focused on our rehab program. So many of the homes in Hard Bargain had been in the family uh, really all the way back to the Civil War and had just passed down from generation to generation, but yet the upkeep wasn't being done. The lot that's empty where Freddie had us build our garden used to be. That was the home of Carrie Wilson, and Miss Wilson was a, a longtime Williamson County school teacher. For the past several years, my son and I have kept the grass cut in that lot. And when her house came up for sale, the Empty Hands Fellowship, all of us thought, why don't we renovate it, and and then we could put this cut, this little young lady with three kids, put her in there, and you know give her inexpensive rent and take care of her. And so we kind of took it upon ourselves to try to figure out a way to raise some money to uh, fix her house. Man, we sunk a lot, <laughs> a, lot of money. a lot of money. We tried to re yeah. redo, yeah. redo, redo, and yeah. To go into the community and try to rehab the homes, keep the integrity of the community, uh, in other words, try to prevent gentrification from taking place, it was really where it all started. There were no houses being built or anything like that. Denny Denson and some others said, we need to continue to do this. We need to figure out a way to rehab the homes in the neighborhood that are falling apart. And Denny uh, said, you know what we really need to do? We need to do a full revitalization of this community. Yeah, instead of just uh, looking at one house at a time, we decided that it would be really good to look at the entire neighborhood and how the individual pieces fit together. And this area was continuing to deteriorate. We brought in the people who lived in the neighborhood and the city officials and people, volunteers who cared about the neighborhood. It's about 12 years ago, Katie Wilson asked me if I would come to some meetings and start looking into possibly building some houses with Hard Bargain. I'm Marquita and I am the eldest grandchild of Pastor Denny Denson and this is my husband Derek. <laughs> and um, we are the homeowners of a hard bargain home. There are already multiple churches in the neighborhood. We wanted to stay here in Williamson County. And it's such a close distance to downtown Franklin. We tried to do the traditional you know, the conventional housing, they told us we didn't make enough money. Uh, there's a school right outside the neighborhood. There's so much that's going on that's vibrant about this neighborhood. It, it hurt because we were having our credit on track. I mean, we were doing the best that we could do. We had no debt and we still couldn't get a home. Gosh, in Franklin, affordable housing sounds like an oxymoron. There's hmm. nothing affordable in Franklin. That in fact, a lot of the modern for-profit developer neighborhoods that are being built around Franklin and the entire country don't have some of the wonderful things that, that Hard Bargain has. So there's so much to work with already. I'm glad that the program of Hard Bargain was here so we could be able to do this. One of the things that makes building these houses fun is bringing together a group of 
volunteers and subcontractors. I'm a pastor at Christ Community Church. Very good. Been, Very um, good. I do all kinds of jack of all trades, can fix a lot of things. And then we have Mike Smith that comes on every single house and does ceramic tile floors in the bathrooms and the laundry rooms and the places we need them. We are here and we're here to stay and that's the beginning of our legacy that we can live or leave for our son. Hard Bargain is such a traditional family neighborhood that we want these houses to last through generations. We build these houses to last well over 100 years with minimal amount of maintenance and upkeep. I want Hard Bargain Association to be here for years to come. I want this to be a generational thing. Thank you so much for your support over the last 10 years. Hard Bargain Association would not exist without your support, your donations, your volunteer hours you've put in here, your prayers, all of this has brought us to where we are today and will propel us into the future. And for that, I'm grateful. Happy 10th anniversary, Hard Market Association!